So welcome back to a full Tremaya, my first video um, <clears throat> as part of the regular stuff now that I'm going to be doing. We're only a couple of weeks away from the start of the season. I think it's three weeks away from the start of the season now. So I thought we'd start jumping on the on the bandwagon and start getting some videos out there to you guys, uh, especially the ones that have stuck around over the last uh, five months, six months since I you know, put any regular content out. So we're back. I'm going to come to you today with a bit of uh, a transfer update. I know all the other channels are doing these. Could even be a little bit behind by the time you see this. Um, but it is what it is. I just thought I'd get something out there. Again, get myself used to being back in front of the camera, talking to no one. Um, so first things first, I want to start with the uh, the Lewis Orford um, scenario. So we know that... Um, Last week, we offered uh, offered as part of the deal for Duran, knowing that he's in the last year of his contract, knowing that Villa showed an interest in him at the start of the transfer window. Um, they turned it down. They, they turned us down point blank, uh, whether it was the monetary value or the add-ons of the deal, I don't know. But they turned us down, and Lewis Orford um, has now been offered a new five-year contract. Um it's a very strange one. I myself had the right hump when it was announced that Lewis was going to be used as a, you know, a make weight to this Duran deal. England under 18's captain. Um, it's just a very strange one from the club there for me that they wanted to, you know, stick him on the offering block there. Um, but I'm glad they've seen sense. I know a lot of other fans, not just myself or the other channels that were perplexed, pissed off, whatever you want to call it by this one. Um, he's now been offered a five-year contract, and uh, the latest details on that are that he's very close to signing a new five-year deal. Um, he desperately wants to stay at West Ham. Um, his family are all Lions. He's happy with the way that Lopetegui plays football, the style of play that he wants to bring to West Ham or fulfills it. It's a good fit for him. So that's... Uh, that's a good... It's a good indication as well of, um, obviously, the the view of the uh, of the academy you know Potts has been out there doing some great stuff with the um with the first team um in the preseason friendlies i know we lost 3-1 to wolves um the other day um the weather what was that about in tampa in, um just ridiculous was it not i don't know it was quite a few people i i paid the money for the both games um, to watch them both. Obviously, that game didn't kick off until what five past two in the morning. It was a it was a bit of a mad one. But Orford, um, Orford played in that. Uh, Potts played in that. They looked quite good. I'm quite happy with the with the two of them. Um, I have a feeling if Orford does sign this contract, he will be the next one to go out on loan to possibly a League One side. I know that um, Potts did. He was at Wickham, wasn't he? And he got, uh, I think he got the young player of the year and the players play, or player of the year as well at Wickham. Um, so I feel that if, you know, Orford signs his five-year contract, he will be the one to go out on loan this season. And Potts will be the one that um, probably sticks around. You know, I'm not expecting him to pull up trees in, in, in the first team, but he'll be there or thereabouts, you know, appearances in games from the subs bench. And I'd be really happy with that. I'm really, really looking to see uh, young Freddie Potts um, become part of the first team. Really, really looking forward to that. Leave your, leave your comments below, guys. Um, let me know what you think on, on the offer deal, um, on the offer he's given um now this one we're going to talk about Aaron Wambasaka next um that one is slightly different um with regards to um what's going on um I think that um Stiden's played a really some might say a dangerous game I think it's quite an intelligent game now we've gone after Wambasaka man you have said no there's lots of um there's lots of issues around the deal. One of them being, um, I think the major sticking block is uh, that Wan-Bissaka feels he should be compensated by Manchester United and he'd rather that be a lump sum, etc., um, etc. Et Knowing that he can go out 
at the end of next season or the end of this season coming, being a free free agent in command, of, you know, kind of a bigger signing on for a bigger set of wages. So I think there's, there's some issues around that. That looks like that's still being spoken about. They're still trying to figure that one out. Um, hopefully we'll have some resolution on that in the next, uh, hopefully the next day or two. Um, again, this might change by the time I put this video out a bit later today. Um, who knows? Um, I'd like one, Basaka. I'd be really, really excited if we can get that one over the line. Um, I think he's, uh, I think he's a really good player. I think his sort of uh, style would support Lopetegui and what Lopetegui is trying to do. Um, I'm kind of hoping that a Gerd sticks around. If we can get a Gerd to stick around, then you kind of have a a Kilman, a Gerd. Uh, Wamba Saka and Emerson as your back line. I'd, I'd be really interested to see that works. Again, leave your comments below. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you think I'm. Tell me if you think I'm wrong. Tell me if you think my opinion on it's wrong. I, I, you know, I'll be interesting to uh, go backwards and forwards with uh, people. Have a uh, an intelligent conversation, not just where we're bitching and moaning at each other. Let's have a. A good conversation where you know you try and tell you try and convince me the error of my ways, and I do that with you. Um, it makes for it makes for interesting times rather than everyone just back and back and forth at each other. Um, mentioned his name earlier, John Duran. Um, there's still that's I, I won't say it's happy in the air because I know we still hold an interest in the player, we're still trying to sign this guy. Villa want 40 million plus. I think it's add-ons plus a sell-on fee. Me, personally, I think it's going to be a bit too rich. I think it's a bit too much for a player that's just potential. You know, I, I, I get the, the overall transfer package, but maybe, you know, 30 million and then 10 million in add-ons, 15 million in add-ons. If, you know, they're, they're convinced he's going to be the player that they think he is, 40 million as a, as a, as a transfer feed before any add-ons, it's too much for me. I mean, I, I think he might be a good player. I think he might be, he might be the striker that we've been looking for. You know, the one that Halea wasn't for us, the one that Skamaka wasn't for us. Um, I'm not saying that they aren't the strikers. They it just wasn't for us under uh, Moyes. It could be a different scenario under Lopetegui if we'd had Lopetegui. Halea, Skamaka, would things have been different? I believe so. Um, I was having a conversation with a few of the guys that come into my pub um, and, you know, talking about Romelu Lukaku. And I was like, oh, and, and they were going backwards and forwards and, uh, you know, against each other, if you will. And what I found quite funny was the fact that whilst there was some agreement in... Lukaku being the sort of player, you know, was was against us, was just an absolute beast, a demon, couldn't stop scoring against us, be it Everton, be it um, uh, at Manchester United. It just irritated me, even at Chelsea. Um, it just irritated me. Now, under, again, go back to under Moyes, under Lopetegui, under Moyes, I think Lukaku would have been fantastic for West Ham. I think it would have worked. He would have been the perfect person that, that Moyes would have wanted. Someone big, someone strong, hold the ball up, bring in others to, to create the few opportunities we have. Under Lopetegui, I don't think it would work. We need to come away as West Ham fans. And a lot of us, um, I've noticed in conversations that I have, are still like, oh, he'd work under, oh, no, we don't have him anymore, do we? And it's that strange situation we find ourselves in where this, this transitional of playing a different style of football, that what didn't work under Moyes will work under Lopetegui, and what did work under Moyes won't work under Lopetegui. Do you see what I mean? So... It'll be interesting. Do I think Duran's the one? It's a lot of money for possibility, isn't it? Um, let me again. Let me know your thoughts, guys, in the comments underneath the video. I'll try and respond to as many as I can. I, I, I have been, um, you know, giving my all back into this. I'm hoping that we can we can get this going. Um, another striker that we've been linked with over the last 36 hours is Nicholas Fulkrug. Of um, 
of Borussia Dortmund. Now, I was really impressed with, with some of the stuff that I saw from Paul Krug in the Euros. Um, came off the bench in a few games and I, w- I was impressed, A, with his movement, B, with his, um, his, his holding the ball skills, impressed with his running in behind. So I, I'd be interested on this one. I've, I have a relatively decent knowledge when it comes to to the German Bundesliga, the Austrian Bundesliga. And Nicholas Falkrog is someone that I'd be very interested in, again, if the deal's right. I mean, you know, we're talking about £40 million for, for John Duran. I'd rather, I'd rather go half that on this fella, £25 million on, on Falkrog. Um, knowing that we've got a player that already has the experience of um, of first team action in international football. I know that Duran plays for Colombia, um, and he did in the uh, in, in the Copa. Um, but I, I I I'd be more interested in Falkrug at a decent price than than being kind of robbed, if you will, for Duran. Um, comments below. Um, Somerville is an uh, Leeds is another player that we're interested in. Um, Crescencio Somerville. Now, for me, this one I'd say it doesn't necessarily make sense. It could do, and I, and I think there is a way round that we it could do for me. Now, we, we seem to have an abundance of wingers, right? Um, we've just bought uh Guillerme. we have Caduce, we have Bowen. Um, we have Cornet, and there's my thing. It could make sense. If if we could offload Cornet, then it would mean, make sense bringing in um, Somerville, you know, experienced first-team player. In, in I think he had some Premier League games with Leeds in you know, full championship season last year. Here's the thing. Could we not offer them Maxwell Cornet as a sweetener for Somerville? I think we could. I, I don't think that's um I don't think that's a million miles away from being an impossibility, shall we say? I'd be really, really impressed if if we could uh if we could pull something like that out of the bag. Um let me know your thoughts, guys. Just a quick 12, 13 minute round up there just to A, get me used to being back in front of the camera and B, give you some of the information that I picked up today and, and the last 36 hours based around, you know, our transfer dealings. Um, drop your comments below, as I've said probably about eight times so far in this video. I want I want the interaction on these videos. Um, I'm still not ready for live videos on my own yet. Um, we'll, we'll get there. I, I promise I'll make sure I get round to a live one sooner or later. Um, we have the Palace game coming up. I believe it's uh, Sunday. I don't know what, whether that's Sunday, Saturday into Sunday or whether that's Sunday into Monday. No, um, I, I believe it's, um, again, a midnight kickoff. So I don't know. You know, the, the days on that. I'll try and get something put together um, for that. I know I didn't do anything for the Wolves. Um, it was kind of a, a, a strange situation. I had um, I had some bits at work that needed taking care of. My son's birthday on the weekend just gone. He turned 10, Logan. Um, so, we, we, you know, we had some time we spent together as a family there and, and, and we went away for a couple of days as well. So it was um, it was nice to, to be able to do that. But obviously now I'm back at it. So back to work, back to YouTube. Let's have some fun. Hit like on the video, guys. Um, like I say, um, it helps with uh, getting me back out there amongst other people. Hit the, you know, hit the share and, and share it across your social medias. I'm going to do the same. Let's see what we can do. Um, and if uh, if in the meantime, any big news breaks, some changes on anything I've just recorded, if I have the opportunity to get something back out to you, I will endeavour to do so. Uh, have a good day, guys. Enjoy your evening whenever you're watching this. Uh, and you all take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon and come on, you irons. Oh!